Yo what is up guys, Brandon here from Epic Technology and today we're going to be unboxing the 3D printing pen, Morph Pen. So like how the name implies, Morph Pen allows you to create a 3D printed model much like how a 3D printer would, except you would have more versatility and control over what you are creating using a pen. So let's go ahead with the unboxing. So here's what the Morph Pen looks like. Now opening this box, it just has a flap, you just flap open so that makes it easy to open. Now first thing we see is of course the paperwork. So this is pretty standard stuff with just step by step guide on how to use the Morph Pen as well as detailing what's inside the box and everything you need to know about the Morph Pen. So next up we have is the USB cable. So this is going to be our main source of power for the device. So this is going to plug into our Morph Pen and connect to an outlet which is going to act as our power to make sure our device can turn on. So next up we have is the power outlet itself. So this is going to connect the USB to the wall power outlet to create a source of power to turn on your device. Now it doesn't really matter at this point if this doesn't match your country's outlet as you can just use an adapter or just any old USB to power source will work just fine. So next we have our little tools. So first we have is our mini screwdriver so this will primarily be used for screwing on and replacing the nose piece on our 3D morph pen. Along with our screwdriver we also have a back cover removal piece which is that little blue plastic over there. So what this does is it will be used as a wedge to open up our 3D morph pen to reveal the contents inside. We also get our filament sample. So this is pretty much going to be the core element of our 3D pen as this is going to act as our ink to create whatever we are making. The filament samples come in five different colors being red, orange, yellow, green and blue. You also get an extra replacement nozzle piece which you can use to replace the current nozzle piece of the current 3D morph pen by screwing on using the small screwdriver. So you can go ahead and change up the nozzle piece in case you lose one or in case it breaks. And lastly we have is the 3D morph pen itself. On the main front side you will see two side to side buttons along with the logo morph pen. These buttons will indicate the loading of the filament you wish to choose. Along the side you will see an OLED display screen which will indicate the heat temperature of your current morph pen. And lastly on the side you will see a switch that will indicate the speed of which you want your filament to process through the morph pen. Now at the end of the morph pen you will also have room for the filament placement as well as the port to plug in for your power source. And that's the end of this unboxing video of the 3D morph pen. So if you're interested and want to learn more about the Morph Pen, I highly suggest checking out their website at morphpen.com where you can go ahead and check out and place an order of your choice of Morph Pen. Morph Pen currently offers four different types of models you can choose from, being blue, purple, white, and yellow. And be creative with this as you can make anything you want, as here's the pictures submitted by fans who wanted to create different new things that are being innovated with the Morph Pen. So that's it from me, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Laters!